AC is passing to the west of New Caledonia as a Category 1 equivalent storm on the Sapphire Simpson scale. Uh, that's winds of around 85 miles per hour right now, 135 kilometers per hour sustained, 20.4 south, 163.1 degrees east is its current position at 11 p.m. in Noumea this February the 11th. Moving south, uh, CDPS Stage 2 as well. This storm brushing past the islands. This could have been a much worse situation for the island of New Caledonia. CDPS Stage 2. Um, that's because the winds on land are not going to be particularly high. I don't think we're going to see much hurricane force winds. Uh, only tropical storm force at this point. With rainfall amounts probably reaching around 3 inches, uh, 75 millimetres. That's additional rainfall than what's already been seen, of course. Uh, here it is right now, then, again, with that wind field, larger wind field on the eastern side. So tropical storm force winds could be widespread over parts of New Caledonia. Cyclone warning in effect now as far east as Point Demi, uh, where uh, that's around the uh, central part of the island. Um, no cyclone watches in effect anymore because everywhere is now under the warning zone. The storm won't drift any further east. So here's how we've reached the conclusion of the sustained winds with the JTWC. Fiji slightly lower at 75 miles per hour. The ADT has dropped off for some reason down to 60 miles per hour on both NOAA and SSEC. Um, so that's interesting, but it certainly looks like a Category 1 storm on satellite imagery, which we'll see shortly. You can see it there, it's going to speed off towards the southwest over the Coral Sea over the next few days. Will probably remain tropical for some time, could still be tropical by the time it um, makes its closest approach to Sydney, Australia uh, on day 3 although it will probably be turning post-tropical and possibly might have done so by then. Nonetheless, rainfall amounts will probably be significant on the Australian east coast, but wind speeds uh, I don't think will be a huge issue. Here it is right now then, you can see the moisture plume associated with this storm. You can see it just about misses the coast of Australia on the GFS model, and uh, some of it does reach New Zealand. The main core of the storm remaining well offshore both of these islands, uh, both of these nations, um, and again you can see it there delivering possibly enhanced rainfall to parts of Queensland more than anywhere really and into northernmost New South Wales uh, with some more further south in the storm's wake. Uh, so that's interesting. Here is the sea surface temperatures then. Uh, fairly warm where the storm is right now. They'll probably last for a good uh, day and a half, two days probably before starting to just about drop underneath the threshold of 26 degrees Celsius, so that's uh, 79 Fahrenheit on that chart. And you can see there expected to remain a hurricane strength system for a good two days on the GFS model before starting to run out of steam there. Uh, but you can still see it's a very potent system, very broad, especially on the eastern side with that wind field. So New Zealand could see some sustained tropical storm conditions, or at least those winds, bearing in mind that it won't be tropical by then. Um, and that could persist for a good day or two when the storm reaches the area late this week over the weekend. Uh, HWRF they're still calling for a Category 2, all the, others, uh, all the other models are down at Category 1. Wind shear is going to start to take a hike very soon, up to 40 knots in the next 24 hours. That will really um, condemn this storm to its demise. Sea surface temperatures will start to fall as well, relative humidity is not going to be an issue for this one. So here it is again on the satellite imagery. Um, not looking that great on the imagery there. Uh, you would expect a lot more cloud coverage on the north and western sides, but uh, it's lacking a bit. Uh, dry air coming in from the west, you can just about make out on the edge of the graphic there. But the central core of the storm seems quite potent in itself, so wind speeds quite clearly into hurricane force winds, well above 120 kilometers per hour sustained winds, higher gusts possibly up to around 150, 160 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's 100 miles per hour, and this storm will start to clear New Caledonia in the next few hours. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us of course on our YouTube channel so it's Force 13 and also on Facebook and Twitter Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.